Welcome to another episode of Pistons of Fury. In this episode, join me as we build an oil system for our turbo setup in our 1966 Dodge Coronet station wagon. Okay, so in today's episode, we are working on assembling AN lines for my oil cooler setup. Okay, so today in this episode, we are assembling some AN plumbing for my oil cooler setup on the wagon project. And the kit we have here is from Evil Energy. They're a vendor on Amazon. Um, Chinese outfit, the stuff is kind of clearly from, from China, um, has at least some sort of quality control. Um, read through the reviews. I actually like fake fake review checked it um, before I bought a $60 kit. Comes with 10 feet of AN line and I think six different fittings. Two 45s, two straights, and two 90 degrees. Um, so it comes with some instructions. They do have a video on their Amazon page which is kind of helpful. Um, but I have my own method for doing this, which I'm going to show you guys today. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go through cutting the hose and mounting this 90 degree fitting for one of my oil cooler connections. So let's get started. Okay, so there you have it. That's the easiest way that I've found to assemble these things. Um, I did a few prior to filming, um, just because I really wanted to get a handle for it. And, uh, you know, this is the best way I can find. A um, couple things I would change if, if I were to do this on a more frequent basis would be soft jaw uh, vise, so that I don't scuff up and so it holds it actually firmly in place. And then obviously an AN wrench. Um, you can get away with the electrical tape and a steel wrench. But if you slip or anything, um, you start to mar the surface. So you can kind of see um, there, a little bit of scuffing. But you know what? It's going to be under a car driving on the road, and it's going to get scuffed. So that's just how it goes. I um, went ahead and did the other end, too. So basically just have both of these guys. So this is for, um, in terms of my setup, um, this is pretty much for my oil pan to the uh, oil, remote oil filter. So I've got a few more to make, um, and then we will take a look at how they all route on the car. Okay, so now that the majority of my plumbing lines are done for the cooler setup, um, we've got to take a look at my 
this is my remote adapter plate. This is the Moroso cast aluminum thing, um, which we've been using to mock this up. So new part to the equation is this sandwich adapter plate, which basically just goes between this remote filter adapter and our filter like that. Um, and the way this works is it has a little coiled metal thermostat in there. And as it heats up, I believe that blocks an oil passage and basically reroutes hot oil into the cooler and around um, all through the filter still, but basically just uses the thermostat to control the flow of the oil. So your oil can actually heat up in the engine. So that's the, this is called a sandwich plate. And we've got half inch MPTs here. Um, and we'll basically just adapt that to dash 10 AN. That'll go to the cooler. Um, we'll have oil coming out here in on this side, cooler, filter, so on. Um, also purchase this. So if you're wondering where your money goes in projects, I can almost guarantee you it's in these little bits and pieces for the plumbing and all the fittings and things like that. So this is actually a NPT to dash four AN. Um, so this is kind of a, this is from Zex Nitrous. This is a unique piece. It's the only uh, company I think that makes this. Um, unless you want to do like a bunch of combo adapters. So I'm going to dash 4AN and then I just bought this little swivel 90 degree to adapt my um, oil feed line to the top of this. So basically this mounts in the top, this remote oil filter situation here um, gives you an out output. You can actually do a gauge if you want to do an oil pressure gauge off the top of this. But in my case, this is going to be my turbo oil feed. So basically it just goes like that and mounts at 90 degrees. It'll be a little more condensed when I fully install it. Um, yeah, so that is the oil filter setup. And then the final piece of plumbing that I have to make, um, which I actually opted for this stainless braided line versus the nylon, is my uh, turbo oil drain. Um, so I've got a adapter coming out of the bottom of the turbo, which will be um, half inch NPT. Again, we're going to dash 10 AN. So I've got a 45 here. We've basically got to divert around a intercooler pipe and then down and we'll be kind of close to hot exhaust parts, which is why I opted for the stainless steel. I'm still going to do a heat shield on this, but I didn't want um, nylon to, to melt or anything like that. So we're going to go down and we've got to go around my AC compressor and into the uh, 10 a.m. fitting that I have welded in my oil pan. So that's what's coming up next. Probably just going to get started um, measuring this line and then making it. And then I do have to clearance my AC bracket a little bit to get to the, um, the drain in the oil pan. So lots of work to do. Okay, so the final thing I have to do to connect this entire oiling system together is modify this turbo drain that I got for my turbo. Um, so this came with a kind of an O-ring fitting and it was originally intended to just be like a slip-on barb fitting. Um, I'm not sure what size this is. It's just shy of half inch NPT. Um, so I'm assuming maybe three eighths or something like that. But my half inch NPT fittings don't fit in here. So I bought this half inch NPT um, drill and tap kit 
And what I'm going to do is basically drill this out and tap it. Um, I don't have a tap wrench that's this size, so we're going to have to get creative with that. But first thing we need to do is drill this out so it's ready for the tap. So to wrap up our turbo oil system, um, we're going to start over here on the left at the turbocharger. So we've got our 4AN um, into the top of the turbo. So this is a pressure line that comes from our oil um, filter adapter, remote housing on the other side. Um, and then down below here, we've got this stainless 10AN um, through a 45 degree into uh, half inch NPT on the bottom of the turbo. So we've got a 45 degree angle there, um, so that should be good. We should be able to drain, and then basically that loops down under the AC compressor and goes right into the pan where we have a 10 AN bung welded. And moving over to the other side, um, got our 4 AN line which comes here, and we're using this extra port on the top of our oil filter housing. We've got uh, NPT, half inch NPT again, to 10 AN adapters on the top for in and out. And then we also have our sandwich adapter and filter already mounted. So the way this basically flows is I've got um, out of the bottom of the pan into the filter. And then we have our four 10 AN lines that we made in the span of this project, which basically help route from the pan to the filter to the cooler and back. So four lines total to each way. And that's pretty much it. Um, Overall, I don't think I'd do anything different. Um, you know, this Evil Energy stuff, it remains to be seen whether or not these are high quality in terms of them not leaking. Um, but in terms of assembly and packaging and, and all of that, they appear to be at least decent quality. So TBD on the results. So I will, I will post back for sure and um, let everybody know how that works. Um, but overall, pretty good, feel good. So one more system knocked out. We're just kind of checking them off at this point, and uh, yeah, almost there, almost to content complete for the engine bay. So this is a pretty big milestone. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments, like always. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.